Okay, loss of my brew. I haven't been on for a while. I've actually dealt with it really, really well. Um, I've had help from some counselling to really sort of delve into how to handle certain feelings. Um, currently, though, I'm off sick with acute acute stress. Um, I go back to work next Tuesday, but you can probably see where I'm getting my problems from in there. I don't have to say it. Recently got told what people were saying about me, um, what they were accusing me of, uh, one of them being an alcoholic. Um, I just want to, as well you know, I just want to say that um, I, yes, I did have a drink at the weekends and I probably would have crammed in quite a lot in such a small period of time purely to help um, because I wasn't feeling anything and it felt wrong. Um, just to bring down my defences so that I could cope with everything that was being trapped inside of me pretty much. Um, so I saw it as a way of coping and getting myself better. Other people think that I am a full-blown raging alcoholic. I don't need a drink before I go to work. I don't need a drink when I get up. I don't need a drink before I go to sleep, apart from a cup of tea. That's about it. Um, but I've learned that who I called friends, who I thought were friends, were truly not if they do happen to watch this channel they'll know who they are um give you a bit of a hint smelling my breath in the mornings um to see if i've had any alcohol was mentioned and i would say if they do think they are friends they would admit to saying it um, the minute I confront them and they worm the way out of it, I know, I know. Um, and that's where I know you got my back, Rich. So I am going to look for another job um, without toxic people, hopefully. Uh, as long as I can sort of keep the same income in to keep the family going and to make sure the house is paid for, etc, etc, um, then, then I'm happy. And you know me, Rich, I'm a hard worker. I'll do what I need to do um, to make sure job's done. And I'll, I'll always go above and beyond because it's, it's me. It's who I've always been. You ask anybody, anybody that I've worked with, they'll say exactly the same. I've gone above and beyond. And I go above and beyond in my role this time. But constantly being, felt like I'm being put down and criticised. Um, and told off pretty much hence Christmas lunch anyway just to say I'm, I'm, I thought I'd come on here because it's recently been your birthday and you would have been 44 this year still three years off me um, but 44 and I'm sure you were up there loving it you got your mum and your dad and you got Angie your big sis and you'll all be dancing and singing and eating cake and, and just blessing the day you were born. Because I blessed the day that you were born and you were my brother and you looked after me. Um, especially after mum died, which I'll never forget. People think they know. People think they can guess, but every single person's way of coping and dealing with grief is different don't ever get told how you should or you shouldn't cope with it because you will cope with it as you as an individual and you should never never be ashamed never and i know my brother and my mum are proud of me rich i love you big little bro and I miss you even more. Mum, 
my heart's broken still and it probably will be until the day that it's time for me to meet you you were the love of my life at the very beginning you loved me whatever dad um, i really hope that all your demons have gone I've got a bit of something in my eye i hope all your demons have gone and you're the person you wanted to be and angie it's been a while 18 years nearly forever young that's what you are i love you all and i miss you all but well, i am actually apart from mark and an individual i'm actually doing really really well and i am so proud of myself uh getting katie on the right track um is getting there um if you saw us at christmas you would know i wouldn't need to say on here but um yeah things are going okay i love you and i miss you <laughs>